in 1987, we saw Ghost Chase, which is also known as Hollywood Monster. Now, this is actually directed by Roland Emmerich. Yes, that Roland Emmerich. One of his earlier movies, it is actually a German production, albeit it takes place in America, featuring kind of American actors, and is meant to be ultimately an American film, or at least look like one. I suspect this came off the back of the success of Ghostbusters, and we had a, a small little fad of kind of horror comedies, things like House 2, um, you know, kind of Monster Squad, things like this. Uh, and this was one of them. It's very much a, a kind of aimed at kids, albeit there is a little bit of kind of swearing and stuff. And uh, what is the story? Well, it's actually one of these films where I've only ever recently seen it. Now, I, I remember watching this, so watching the trailer for this that seemed to be on every single VHS that I ever kind of rented back in there, back in the day, back in the heyday of VHS. The trailer of this seemed to be everywhere on all these kind of VHS. And I just thought, it looked a bit crappy to me, to be honest with you. We had this kind of ghost character that just looks like a kind of a puppet. And I thought, well, that looks a bit crappy. Uh, why is there a, a, clearly a puppet that's meant to be a ghost? Now, now having watched it, there's actually an in-universe reason for that. Um, but let me give you a brief plot synopsis. So it focuses on these two young kind of indie filmmakers. And they're trying to make these kind of various low-budget horror films. But one of them, we learn... Uh, actually in inherits something from a, a long lost relative and it turns out to be this kind of case that is filled with among other things this kind of antique clock now we learn that this clock is actually haunted by the spirit of this relative's butler uh, and he comes a visiting and we learn that there may well be a fortune hidden somewhere and they uh, are kind of a, a duo of friends this ghost and a kind of this girl that one of the kind of the, the friends is after team up to try and track down said fortune, uh, but they have threats both otherworldly and uh, in the more corporeal form of a local Hollywood mogul. Now, what will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss Ghost Chase. So the tone of this movie is is a kind of a screwball comedy, but more aimed at a, a kind of a young audience. Albeit there's a couple of mentions of sex and a little bit of swearing here and there. So it's a little bit tonally kind of mixed, admittedly. Uh, but it's neither particularly kind of graphic on either horror nor comedy. Uh, so it really kind of exists in this kind of weird, like, middle area, really. So it's probably one of these films that I've forgotten the time because it was really um, not all that focused in regards to where it, I think it's meant to land in regards to a target audience. What can we say that I think works in this movie? One of the things that always struck me, having watched the trailer of this movie so many times and now watching the film, is it has a pretty decent soundtrack. Now, in the 80s, you know, we had loads of kind of great songs. You know, if you're my age, you'll certainly think so. And there are lots of incorporated into this kind of movie. And I think the soundtrack does work with it uh, particularly well. There are a couple of amusing moments here. And it actually has more of a kind of like peek behind the curtain in regards to kind of like the... Um, the movie making experience in kind of like a Hollywood kind of uh, business than I actually initially anticipated. When you kind of watch the trailer, I don't think that's really um, shown so much, to be honest. Now, having seen the film, I realised, for example, the whole reason why this ghost of Lewis, who is our kind of our good guy ghost, looks like a puppet, is because it's a spirit that possesses a puppet. That's, what, and that's why he looks like it. So there's actually kind of an in-universe reason. I mean, he still looks like Yoda, uh, it's not the, it's an odd choice to be honest with you, but there you go. Um, so th there are some kind of like uh, if you're a fan of kind of like indie filmmaking and stuff, it's, I mean, it's, it's nothing too in depth there. This is really kind of before the 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 rise of meta filmmaking, so to speak. But nonetheless, there are a couple of nods and kind of references to kind of like uh, horror movie making and stuff like that. So it's a kind of a kind of a gentle introduction to that sort of somewhat. Uh, very kind of loose, self-referential uh, kind of horror movies that we maybe enjoy uh, in more recent years. I have to say, I did quite enjoy our trio of heroes, these kind of two guys. I mean, they, it's kind of a slapstick, kind of like caper style kind of comedy um, that does border on, on somewhat immature, but obviously, again, I, I suspect this was aimed at somewhat of a kind of a younger audience. And I, I gotta say, I, I still think our 
are kind of leads who are actually kind of quite likable. And when we kind of get into the kind of the house in the kind of the third act, it's it's albeit the kind of the trailer if you've seen that more or less spoils it. But it's a little bit of a fun escapade there, but nothing too kind of like, um, you know, uh, too kind of like graphic or exciting to be honest with It's relatively low key, this kind of movie. Um, it's much more about, the, the film is much more about trying to uh, f find out what's the mystery behind about what's going on. And they're kind of uh, pursued and, and dogged by this kind of Hollywood mogul and it's kind of, Henchmen and things like that. That's actually, that's actually the kind of like the really the the bulk of the storytelling here, which kind of leads me into maybe what doesn't work because this film is not as, as kind of fantastical as you might think. The kind of the character of Lewis, who is this kind of ghostless butler, is not on screen as much as you were maybe anticipate. He probably only has really two or three appearances within the movie. I mean, some of them are a little bit more extended, but. You know, he, he's not really in the film all of that much, to be honest with you, and doesn't play a lot as large a part as I was expecting, if that makes sense. I actually thought the, the film was going to be a, a, like based around him, but it isn't, to be honest. Um, and as such, <clears throat> the movie's actual plot is a little bit more vanilla, a little bit more kind of lacklustre than kind of you maybe want to, you know, you, you maybe want to experience, and kind of having these kind of three, you know, young sort of young 20 year olds being chased around by goofy looking kind of like uh, Hollywood moguls. It's kind of a little bit on the on the dull side, to be honest with you. Um, and as much as I kind of quite enjoyed the chemistry, there was a little bit of kind of like cheesy kind of overacting from our from our cast here. And again, I, I would kind of point to maybe the tone that this movie is trying to go for. It's trying to be like a screwball comedy, but for a, certainly a younger audience. So it's, it's trying to have these like more slapsticky kind of style comedy moments and things like that. And like visual gags where someone's like pouring a coffee and they're distracted so it overfills like loads and things like this. So it's like, haha, that's amusing. This is kind of one of these like, very kind of like basic kind of styles of comedy and you know a guy gets up and his kind of glasses are all sort of cockeyed because he's taking a knock and things like this so it's it's a little bit of a, of a basic kind of humor i have to say um the actual kind of like supernatural stuff as i said is not as prevalent as one might think um we don't get as much of it here and there's nothing really genuinely kind of that feels like it should be a threat there is a somewhat of another worldly kind of um menace shall we say but it's dealt with pretty quickly and pretty uh, easily if i'm honest and the uh our kind of our bad guy human again is somewhat of a bumbling kind of idiot uh and a kind of a just a, a big business kind of like bad guy cliche it's pretty forgettable this movie i have to be honest i mean it's 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 somewhat kind of like light-hearted and um you know uh wistful in some kind of ways but ultimately it's not a particularly memorable film and is fairly forgettable um i don't know if i would necessarily say it, it falls into a bad category but it is below average at the very least so i'm going to give this one a four out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i look forward to you next time bye for now